Thanks. <laughs> now I'm going to read this bit. Yeah, read me a story. I'm going to read <laughs> the whole thing. Did you hear my voice in your head when you were reading it? Yeah, sort of. Okay. I Sometimes people voice. say that. I heard your voice. I heard, oh my God, you poor thing. <laughs> So Jack, Jack Muir, he's in, he's left South Africa, he's in Israel, and this is his first day. <clears throat> he's looking for the office of the kibbutz. He doesn't know, he's got a note written, but he doesn't know, What's he doesn't that? know anything about it. He doesn't know that there are three offices. Okay. You knew that. Yeah. Tell me. A is from Israel. From Tel Aviv, roughly. Roughly. Yeah. We're all from Tel Aviv. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's from Tel Aviv. It's like Australia, we're using the vast bulk of people come from Tel Aviv. The vast bulk of us come from Sydney. Yeah. Where are you from? Sure. Sydney? No, 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 I'm not from Sydney. Go. That first day, I wandered the streets of Tel Aviv looking for the kibbutz office. Before I had met Miva, Gina, or Fraukia, in my hand, I held a note a South African Jew had written on a piece of paper. The streets were hot, busy, unfriendly. I asked for directions twice from young people, one with a submachine gun over his shoulder. He sent me down a street that I turned back up after receiving new directions from a young woman with flaming eyes. I walked and walked, one way, then another. Eventually, my eyes met those of a bent old man with a walking stick. He reminded me of my grandfather. He stopped when he saw me, and I stopped with him. He looked like he had survived everything. I imagined him in a concentration camp. Where are you going, young man? he asked. I'm looking for a kibbutz office. Is it kibbutz? I'm sorry? Which kibbutz? I handed him the note. He glared at me. Are you a true socialist? I think I am. Well then, you don't want this kibbutz office. This office is Hara. The people there know shit about socialism. You want this office. This is the office for a socialist. This office is from the Mapam. True socialist, not the Mapai, the pretenders. I had no idea what he was talking about. But I never forgot his introduction to kibbutz politics or the contrast between his tortured body and the fire and life in his eyes. He pulled out a pen and wrote on the back of the paper. I watched him walk away, not wanting him to. I never saw him again. He was right. He sent me to the perfect office, to Kibbutz Atsi, a hotbed of socialist activity, argument and philosophical conflict that was to change my life.